ओके शर्ट मार ना सो या लास्ट वी स्पोक अबाउट इग्निशिया इफ आई एम राइट ओके सो इग्निशिया वेर डिड वी स्टॉप एंड व्हाट डू यू रिमेम्बर इन इग्निशिया दैट्स द क्वेश्चन हाँ बेसिकली फीमेल रेमेडी अग्रेड व्हाट इज़ इट हिस्टेरिकल रेमेडी या देर इज देर इज हिस्टेरिया ओके सो वील डू वन थिंग at least today's topic that i am going to discuss requires what we have already done in ignisha so we will quickly try to recall what was already discussed in the previous class related to ignisha and then we will continue and it will it's very very important as you rightly said we spoke of uh, introduction and under introduction what did i mention what did we discuss under introduction the scope of sphere of action okay the scope of elements term miasma the contradictory symptoms of ignisha and we also spoke of mind in detail okay so <clears throat> any quick questions related to the topics we have already discussed hope for mind is clear yes this is a very very important remedy and the present generation we see many of uh, the girls who are ignisias and one good reason why we see so many girls who are uh, you know uh, in the present generation who require ignisia is because of lot of uh, things happening in the society and they don't like those things happening in the society and uh, they want to uh, voice it out they want to ask they want to fight it out and that's how i also told you many ignisias can go into uh, feminism they can go into organizations they can go into protest so these are few things that you can also see happening in ignisia okay uh, miasmatically as you all know is more of solo syphilitic you see very few growths in ignisia okay there might be growths i don't deny but comparatively the psychosis part of ignisia is very minimal you see more of sora and you see more of uh, syphilitic things sora syphilitic we will we'll try to explore so now today's class uh, you know what i am trying to share is uh, a very important aspect of ignisia and what we are going to do is we are trying to understand the particular symptoms of ignisia Okay, I know. I mean, it's a wrong uh, image, and I purposely got this image because it's a three to four, uh, you know, the last class, and it's a weekend class. So I know uh, the strength also shows weekend, uh, the importance of weekend, and it's a festival season. Yes, no issues. Yeah, I mean, though you could appreciate muscles, what I want to tell you here is, Ignisha will try to see. what is the action of ignisia from head to toe what we call it as the particular symptoms of ignisia we'll take explore okay now uh, again particular symptoms in the weekend class or the last class of the day is might again be boring might again be boring okay so we'll try making this as interactive as possible so that you know you don't miss on uh, the important points okay hope uh, i am clear fine so we have been exploring at you know different ways of teaching the particular symptoms and one of the toughest part for a material medical student is particular symptoms you know i, I don't know i hope you agree as a third year student Uh, this is the area that you find it confusing and even for a teacher unfortunately this is very difficult to teach mind yeah it's easy many times we have seniors you know who get into my class and they ask what are you teaching sir i say i am doing ignisha mind they are also excited sir can we come and when i say i am doing ignisha particulars i let it be sir you know i mean it's okay you please carry on so this is the effect This is the effect particular symptom generally have, but 
but unfortunately, uh, the way we study particular symptoms, the way we understand particular symptoms makes it a little difficult in understanding. So being into teaching, we are trying to explore a different uh, small formulas to make particular symptoms easy and understanding. So can I have some quick inputs? How do you make particular uh, symptoms uh, interesting? Okay, you have a pattern, you have a method of learning, location, sensation, modality, concomitant. This is a method, but how do you make it interesting? Or, huh? Okay, you look into the pathogenesis, beautiful, good. Okay, you look into the elements from now. Yeah, square of action, pathogenesis, first part. You look at elements from second part. As a third year student, what else do you look at? Okay, you look at uh, comparison. Okay, what else? Sir, relating to the characteristic symptoms and studies. Beautiful, good. You relate it to the characteristic symptoms. Yes. I am also repeating, as a third year student, what is? Huh? Yeah, comparison. Clinical experience. Okay, you talk of your clinical experience. See, more than clinical experience, you know, what is also very important is keeping the knowledge of your clinical subjects or the allied subjects. Okay? I will just uh, try to explain, okay? And we will try to understand. So, first thing, to make the particular symptoms easy, or to make particular symptoms interesting, we have few things to keep in mind. First thing is, you look at the pathogenesis, sphere of action. What is the area it is affecting and what is it causing? Okay, pathogenesis, very important. And then we look at ailment zone. Now, when we look at sphere of action, what is the area in Ignatia? You know, what is that area that gets affected in Ignatia? Very good, CNS, female genitalia, agreed. So, when I talk to you about particulars, we will be focusing on CNS, we will be focusing on the female genitalia, good, what is? Good, it has also some affinity for GAT, we will look at it, then? Extremities. Extremities, okay. So, this also tells you how much of anatomy you remember, what system you remember, what organs you remember. Okay, so CNS, fine. Head, eyes, ears, mucous membrane. These are few areas where you see ignitia predominant lacting. And we'll try to apply this knowledge into the a particular symptom a little later. Ailments from what? What were the ailments in ignitia? Grief, death of loved ones, cold, scolding, scolding, very good. Yeah, now my problem is I have blocked my ears. I like to make out from the sign language. You know, she was telling this, so I didn't get it. Okay, scolding, jealousy, jealousy grief, death of loved ones. Very good, beautiful, disappointment in love. That came loud and clear. Yeah, good. Huh? Homesickness, falling in love with the wrong people. No, ailments from what are the causative factors? Vexation. Okay, loss of position, loss of position. You have been always uh, first rank student and for some reason you get second rank. And what will happen to Ignatia? They might end up in a clinic with fever, with uh, a hysterical episode, with convulsion, with some neurological problem and ailments from loss of position. Good. And you are all talking only about the mind. Ignatia also has a lot of uh, physical elements like coffee, coffee, coffee tobacco, tobacco coffee. alcohol, good. So ailments from, we will be focusing on this area, very important. And third area what we are looking at is, as a third year student, as a third year student, you should start looking at the remedies from the angle of miasma. If you start understanding the remedies through miasm is a beautiful, beautiful learning. Can somebody quickly tell me, how is this going to help you? How is this going to help you? When I said, when I said, Ignatia is more, more solo syphilitic, I mean, when you are talking of head, what is it that you don't see in head? You not see any growths, good. You not see any growths. 
you not see any proliferation or you not see any, any growth. You will be seeing more of functional and you will be seeing more of destructive pathology in ignition. Okay? Though it is more sorry, more sorosyphilitic. We will just come to it. It is a beautiful uh, method. Must be, I don't know how much of miasms they have introduced. Once they start introducing, you will understand this concept much, much better. Okay? Miasmatic background and uh, one of your friend was talking of characteristic symptoms. Okay? You can also have uh, the modalities in your mind. Uh, Madhu was talking of location sensation, modality concomitant. And with all this, you should have the knowledge of allied subject. As a third year student, you are exposed to surgery, OBG, medicine, repertory and all those things. That knowledge will also help us in understanding materia medica or pathology or you know the particular symptoms better. Clear? Okay. So please keep this formula in your mind. To this you need to add the knowledge of clinical or allied subjects. That will help you in understanding particular symptoms better. Any quick questions here? Any clarification? Fine. So this formula will make particular symptoms interesting. Otherwise, you know, every remedy will have head to toe symptoms. Yes. Correct, no? And that is what is boring. Yes, when you say head, what do we head see? Head headache. Head. Yeah, when you say eye, there will be something related to eye. But how do you apply this? Okay? See, for example, eye, and if you are talking of miasma, for example, if you are looking at ignitia, okay? Ignitia, what is the miasma in ignitia? So, more soric and syphilitic. More of soric less of syphilitic. So you will be seeing more of, more of what? Inflammation. One word, inflammation. So knowledge of anatomy, you uh, conjunctiva, iris. Uh, what I was trying to tell you is, we are trying to discuss about, uh, yeah, we are trying to discuss about a peculiar sensation you have in Ignatia. And what is the sensation you have in Ignatia is? They feel, they feel as if a nail has been driven. Okay. So, open your eyes. Done. Okay. So, they feel as if a nail has been driven. One side in the inner side. See, if you look into your repertory, head, nail has been driven. You have many remedies. Tuja, sulfur, lot of remedies. But what is special in Ignatia is, what is Ignatia? What should come to your mind when we talk of Ignatia? Ignatia is a great contradictory remedy. Now what is that contradictory thing that you will be seeing in this situation in Ignatia? Any wild guess? They feel better lying on the side. Like for example you have a nail which has been driven. So when you have a sensation of a nail, do you sleep on that side? No. So, Ignatia is the only remedy mentioned in your repertory. Sensation as if a nail has been driven, better lying on that part. Okay? It is not a real nail, don't make faces. It's only a sensation. Okay? It's only a sensation. So, apart from this, what else can you expect in Ignatia? We saw a headache, it's a hysterical remedy, lot of emotional issues. Emotional issues can bring up headache. Good. Anything else that you can think of? Keeping the ailments, huh? okay, stooping aggravation, good. When they stoop, the headache is aggravated. Beautiful, good. What other things can you see in Ignatia other than headache? Go back to the ailments. Think, imagine yourself to be an Ignatia girl or an Ignatia boy. Those ailments, what can the symptoms that can come up on the head? You are thinking too much. Grief, disappointment, underhead, what do you think it can cause? No, we are done with, we are done with mind. We are focusing on particular symptoms. The tragedy is when a person says the right answer, first tragedy is she is not confident of the right answer. And second tragedy is all the people keep laughing at her. What is in me? What is the answer? Hair fall. Hair fall. Can hair fall happen in Ignatia? 
if s if s yeah what is the stress any disappointment okay see one word one word i want is grief grief okay after grief hair fall from grief okay hair fall from grief you have ignition there are some eight remedies mentioned in your uh, repertory okay and ignition is one of those eight remedies see though we claim 5000 plus remedies in our homeopathic metra medica only eight remedies have the capacity to cause hair fall hair fall from grief and ignition is one of those eight remedies this is the clarity you need to have there can be giddiness there can be vertigo fine so that's it with the head headache the peculiar sensation and hair fall few things related to head so moving your head what do you have under uh, ears huh? okay okay very good one of your friend is talking of deafness looking at the image deafness better in crowded areas what is it it is contradictory when you are in a crowded area do you hear better no but who is he ignisha and ignisha tends to hear better they are prone for contradictory things so good one good thinking second very important thing only remedy in our materia medica impaired hearing except for human voice please understand this statement what is the statement impaired hearing except for human voice so what do you understand by this statement ha huh? you can hear only human voice rest of the things is deaf okay for example a vessel falling for example a dog barking he might have deafness okay and only human being he can hear only remedy in our material america okay exactly opposite is they can hear all other voices except human voice many of the husbands <laughs> <laughs> especially with wife uh, there was a whatsapp thing which had come up no uh, old man pretended to be deaf with his wife for so many years and then they discovered he is not deaf he is only acting deaf when wife is shouting when wife is scolding like you know no, no, no. <laughs> okay so anyway so uh, hearing all the other voices except human voice which is the remedy that remedy is phosphorus phosphorus there are plenty but phosphorus is one remedy okay so roaring ringing in ears better by music. music good better by music okay ringing in ears better by music this also something you have in ignisha okay hmm are clear idea can't stay there okay that's also something you have in ignisha see moving ahead very important what do you see here sweat okay sweating yeah i mean i have shown only this but perspiration or face must be the entire face is not shown but perspiration or face hmm and very characteristic in ignisha is perspiration or face while eating while eating while eating while eating eating while eating okay see so, i mean these are the symptoms which we get in our clinics perspiration there can be lot of uh, peculiarity perspiration only in axilla perspiration only in the nose tip perspiration only in the ears upper lip perspiration of palms perspiration of soles scalp many times your mother is telling you know when my uh, child sleeps he will wet the pillow which is the remedy calcarea calcarea fine and which is the remedy which has bad sweat the moment he removes his shoe you have to run away from that particular place good lord silicia silicia offensive foot sweat you know offensive foot sweat okay wherein for example the moment they remove shoes you can't stay in and around that is silicia calcarea ignisia there are nitric acid sepia lacasis each remedy has its own characteristic sweat so we limit to ignisia and where do you see sweat in ignisia the sweat in ignisia is our face and while eating other remedies are uh, natremure 
sulfur and defam right the fourth remedy should be caliphos. This fourth remedy please cross check. Nitrile and sulfur and ignition I'm pretty sure. Okay. So sweating and uh, you also have something important. That is tutek. Tutek. Uh, a quick remedy is for tutek. Netam salt tuja. Simple remedies. Chamomila, good. Plantago. <coughs> Aconet, coffee, brainia, pulsatilla. Creosotum. When do you think of creosotum in Tute? Decade. Huh? Yeah, decayed uh, caries tooth. As soon as it appears, it goes into caries. How is it in chamomila? Very good. Better be holding cold water. And what is the speciality of chamomila? Huh? See, what is that one word, chamomila? Please don't forget this word. And what is that one word is? Sensitiveness to pain. Can't bear pain. Can't, uh, can't bear pain. Okay, what do you understand by can't bearing pain? Small pain. They can't bear it. Their nervous system is very, very sensitive. Their, their pain centers are very, very sensitive. A chamomilla girl in dysmenorrhea might be screaming, yelling, shouting, throwing. Right? And mother says, I was also a lady. Sister says, even I have suffered. But what is that chamomilla? Chamomilla, it may not be so intense like mother and uh, sister. It could be a small pain, but small pain they can't bear it. People who keep yelling, people who keep shouting with pain, that is Chamomila. Okay. So to take, in Ignisha, to take aggravation smoking and to take from coffee. To take from coffee. Okay. So a very important area, you know, related to Ignisha is related to throat. Yeah, can somebody quickly tell me? Very good. Yeah, we'll go step by step. We'll go step by step. First thing is, see, I'm happy. Uh, you know, when the student gives more answers, I'm, I'm blessed, I'm privileged. Many teachers have to struggle to get answers from the students. Here, the scenario is different. More answers and, you know, I have to literally stop, boss. One at a time. Good. I'm happy. Now, what is the first thing you have here is Globus Hystericus. Very important. Now, what is Globus Hystericus? Ball like sensation in the throat. So, many patients they feel, Sir, kuch atka hai. I feel something stuck. They go to the best ENT. Fine. The best, uh, you know, examination is done. And the doctor finds there is nothing. And the doctor writes, kindly consult psychiatrist. Okay. But this lady will have a ball like sensation. So, ball like sensation. Beautiful remedies, Ignisha. Okay. There are many remedies. Asafoetida, yeah, Hepa, many remedies. But what is special about Ignisha? When do they feel this lump? When do they feel this constriction in throat? After No problem. In grief, yes, in grief. Good. In grief. No issues. In grief. See, Ignisha especially girls, you know, Ignisha boyfriends who are smokers, they will have a tough time with Ignisha girlfriends. Fine, because Ignisha girlfriend will not like that uh, smell of smoke. Okay? Not that she is worried about the boyfriend's health. It is not a concern. Oh, my boyfriend, you know, uh, you have that ad coming up in the, uh, all the movies, Mukesh. I mean, we have this in theaters, no? Uh, what is that? I mean, I don't know, whatever it is. But uh, what I was trying to tell you is, see, here in Ignisha, there is no genuine concern about the boyfriend. Sir, he is smoking and he is, see his health, he is deteriorating, his lungs, nothing. You want to smoke? Go to hell, don't smoke in front of me. Because I don't, I can't tolerate smoke. Could be more of Ignisha's. Okay, okay. Or Ignisha girl, girlfriends, you also know that they are very affectionate, very caring. They might also feel bad. They might also have that genuine concern. Sir, see, sir, he is killing himself. And you know how hysterical they are. How possessive they are. What, sir, if something happens to him? 
Huh? Where will I go for another boyfriend? <laughs> well, genuine concern. Could be. But in Indonesia, they have a bad aversion to tobacco smoke. Tobacco smoke, you know, is uh, unbearable in Ignatia, okay? So, what you have in Ignatia is, in grief, when they are sad, this feeling is more in Ignatia. What is that feeling? That lump-like sensation, that constriction, that globus hystericus, all those feelings related to throat is very, very prominent in Ignatia. Many times in my clinic, it can be a confirmatory symptom. When Ignatia is coming up in the repertory of totality, we ask one question, one last question. What is that one last question? See, when you are sad, you know, you feel some kind of a sensation here. Ha, Dr. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, I do feel. Then we feel elated. <laughs> and you know, when they say, no, 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 no. We ask the same question three times. Because we have ignition in our mind. We change the question. No, no, please think, answer. No, nee, she is very clear. Then, it, then you can forego ignition. That strong, the symptom is in ignition. Okay. The constricted feeling. Fine. How is it different from lacrosis? Lacrosis, grief has no relationship. Fine. In uh, lacrosis or any ophelia, any damn time you talk, they want it to be loose, looseness. Fine. We are talking of looseness. Constriction, aggravation, ophelias. Okay. Here they feel constricted. That is, Ignition. Don't get confused. Constriction, aggravation is Ophelia. Okay. Feeling constricted is Ignition. During grief. Hope I am clear. Okay. Thought what else you have in uh, Ignition? What else? Use your very good throat pain. So I just give you a situation here. Like for example, what is this? What is this? See. You are a third year student. You are a ENT student. Okay. So just telling tonsils will not suffice. Yeah. Follicular tonsillitis. Okay. That's where I told you the knowledge of ENT. Bring in everything under earth and make material interesting. That is the motto. Fine. Follicular tonsillitis. When you have follicles in tonsils, when tonsils are inflamed, what is the shocking thing you get from patient? Sir, I can eat. Absolutely no issues. But you see, ah, sir, this is paining. Or you know, when I drink water, this is paining. So what is this? This is contradictory. Okay. Similar situation you also have in Ophidias. Okay. You also have it in Ophidias. So follicular tonsillitis, inflamed tonsils, can swallow solids, can't swallow liquids. Okay. Contradictory thing. Right? And uh, yeah, this is the lump link sensation I was talking, very important. And this is pain in throat in general. This constriction in hysterical women, globus hystericus, very, very important. Okay? Throat, any questions? Clear, all of you? Okay. So if throat is clear, we will quickly look at the J. What do you expect on the stomach? You can answer. We have already discussed this under contradictory symptoms of ignition. What is it? Oh, very good. He is looking under the book. Okay. All gone sensation. Now, what is the speciality of ignition and all gone sensation? All gone sensation, not better by eating. You feel empty. So, what do you do when you feel empty? You eat. And what should happen? You should fill. So that feeling will not be there in ignition. Okay. So first thing is acting on stomach, you see that emptiness. Good. One point. Anything else? No, we'll finish with stomach. What else on the stomach? So gastritis. Okay, gastritis good. Who was that gastritis? What happens in gastritis in ignition? Huh? Okay, very good. Better by taking uh, spicy food. Can somebody modify this statement? Gastritis or disordered stomach better by eating heavy food. I'll just put it in a very simple way. Your stomach is disordered, you have gastritis, you have nausea, you have vomiting. As a normal person, what do you eat in such situation? You eat something light. You might eat something, you know, like uh, less spices. 
ಈ ಶುಡ್ ಎ ಸಿಗ್ನೇಶ ದೇ ಫೀಲ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಬೈ ಇಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಸ್ಪೈಸಿ ಹಾಟ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ಸೆಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಬೈ ಇಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸರ್ ವೆನ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ಸೆಟ್ ಐ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಈಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ನೋ ಐ ವಿ ಫೈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ನೇಶ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಬೈ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಹೆವಿ ಫುಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಗ್ನೇಷ್ಯ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಡಿಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಟಮ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ವಾಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಮಲೇರೇಷನ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಬಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ವಾಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಈ ಈಸ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನೋ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಇನ್ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಬಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ no now this is the contradictory state you have in ignisia hope you are getting it fine so just look for contradictory things and put it under different uh, systems that is ignisia okay so moving ahead what do you expect under ga sorry under the low intestines okay more than uh, more than ulceration more than uh, hemorrhage constipation for soft stools see my only uh, challenge for you is look for contradictory things okay tomorrow somebody comes and says sir i have to put lot of pressure and i know uh, you know i have to strain so much but sir i have no issues putting pressure and all but you know what is it in the end when you look at this stool stool is very soft i put so much pressure but stools are not hard stools are soft for soft stools he has to put so much of pressure when the stools are hard it is going easy without any pressure this is ignition okay constipation for soft stools which is the other remedy that should come to mind alumina. beautiful alumina how is alumina different from ignition stool are there for uh, okay see no what is the pathophysiology slowness why slowness okay so in alumina you have paresis okay you have paresis of the intestines so the intestinal movements will get slow so he has to put lot of pressure in ignisia the issue is not with the paresis the issue is more contradictory okay hmm? one more symptom related to rectum this was this under sphere of action okay more than the sharp object coming out what is pqrs in ignisia very good but looking at the notes and answering what did we discuss procedincia prolapse okay with soft stools there is prolapse with hard stools there is no prolapse okay fine it's a surgical condition okay so if you're lucky if you can get such cases you can still try with remedies like ignisia okay so procedincia uh, you know constipation something uh, interesting related to female genitalia very good the lot of menstrual problems scanty delayed profuse okay yeah it's not a hemorrhagic remedy though but what was very important okay blackish no issues what is this what is this image telling you ha huh? okay there is no menses very good i will stick to his statement no menses amenorrhea now why you have amenorrhea in ignisia very good for everything you start telling grief now amenorrhea from grief see a lady a girl young girl would have a menses regular okay and one month she skips her menses so what do you do as a homeopath you start investigating why why a lady a girl who was having menses regularly why she skipped the menses fine okay we start investigating fine investigating means we start looking at checking at why what happened okay married lady one very important thing you need to do is check for pregnancy fine or pregnancy is positive is a different issue but pregnancy she has checked smart lady she has come to you but she is not getting a menses 
So from my manner, this has never happened. I get very regular. Then why is it not regular? Now, what has happened? So for example, if it is Ignisha, there was an episode of grief and after grief, she has been having uh, amenorrhea. The only remedy is Ignisha. The amenorrhea, as a gynec student, you know, there are lot of causes. In Ignisha, the cause for amenorrhea is grief. Simple. The Okay, so uh, menses absent from grief. If you look at the text here, I have written only remedy is ignitia. Okay, going ahead. Somebody, uh, one boy was telling about cough. There is something very peculiar in ignitia cough. What is it? The more you cough, the more you feel like coughing. Okay, coughing increases the desire to cough. What is it? Coughing, for example, <coughs> you start, then you have to continue, okay? that is ignition. And many times uh, we also say hysterical cough, okay, uh, without any reason, suddenly the cough starts. We use the word hysterical cough, it can be ignition, okay. And uh, sleep, similarly you can recall few things that can happen in ignition. What can happen in ignition and the sleep? Huh? What is it? Sleeplessness. Very good. Why sleeplessness? Again, sleeplessness from death, sleeplessness from grief, worries. Okay. Fine. A common uh, problem for which many patients come to our clinic, sleeplessness. Okay. Sleeplessness from grief. A better remedy is Nitramure. Okay. Netramir, chronic of ignitia is Netramir. Okay? So, grief causing sleeplessness is one situation. And second very important thing you have here is very good, beautiful. Somnambulism. Okay? What is it? Sleepwalking. Sleepwalking. Okay? Again, your repertory gives a lot of remedies. But Dr. Fatak, you know, uh, a great uh, homeopath, in this material medica, he writes somnambulism from honor wounded. What is it? Somnambulism from honor wounded. So when a person comes to a clinic with uh, night walking, you know his wife, his son, his father, whoever tells, sir, my son has, uh, my husband has this bad habit of walking in the sleep. So what is the next question? From Very good. From when? We limit ignition from when? Now, if it has to be ignition in this situation, what is the reason that you are going to get? So, from past three months. So, what should be your next question as a? We are getting the point. This is how we investigate. This is when I told you we investigate. So, if you ask him since when? Sir, I never had it from birth. You know, last three months. Uh, you know, my wife was started observing. Uh, you know, it was never there last three months. So the next question is, what happened last three months? For example, if it is ignitia, what is the situation? Honor. honor. What is honor? Respect. 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 Honor is esteem, self-respect. So when his self-respect is wounded, meaning when his self-respect is hurt, somebody has put you down, somebody has insulted, okay? And in the bargain, that insult, because of that insult, what has happened? Your respect is gone down. Okay, your honor is affected. Fine. After which, in Ignisha, there will be some members. This is a beautiful uh, explanation. Okay. Uh, only homeopathy can uh, help in all such cases. Relationship between mind and body, very important. Done? Okay, so the last slide for you will be <coughs> a very important slide. We use Ignitia in clinics <coughs> for uh, majority of these complaints. Now what do you expect Ignitia doing, acting on CNS? It causes conversions, good. Pitchings are great, very good. Jerkings, yes. Pitching, jerkings. Korea. 
chorea, chorea. Right? Twitching, jerking, conversions, chorea, spasms. Spasms. Now, can I quickly have a course in Ignatia? Huh? See, when you are looking at mind in Ignatia, all these nervous symptoms will happen from scolding, from punishment. Okay? Teacher says, stand up on the bench. 90% Ignatia won't have made any mischief. But for some reason, teacher would have mistook. She would have just giggled. The main culprit is somebody else. And teacher says, you stand up. So what is this? She felt insulted. And what is Ignatia? First class mind of Ignatia? Good girl image. For her, her image is very important. And in front of everybody, teacher has made me stand. So how do I escape? From this situation, I throw a conversion. Taka 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 taka. Right? Or she will throw some, throw some spasms. So everybody's attention will go from uh, insulting and what do you do? What will the teacher do? Yeah, she will start sympathizing, she will start calling the ambulance doctor, whatever. Or they will comfort her, they will put her to a comfortable position. And at least the attention is getting diverted. You are getting my point. That is Ignatia. Okay? So in Ignatia, you can have spasms, tremors, jerks, trembling, chorea. Korea. Korea from fright, Korea from grief. Okay? And the last thing I want to mention here is conversions. Typically in Ignatia, conversions will be from punishment. Conversions will be after punishment. Conversions will be from fear. Okay? And conversions which come at the same hour. These are few peculiar symptoms of Ignatia. Hmm? Which are the other conversion remedies that we can think of? Yetusa, Argentum, Delsinium, Agaricus, Cuprum, okay? Fine, Naxomica, Stramonium, a lot of remedies. Now, when time permits, we can uh, try to understand each remedy. But Ignisha, remember, the cause will be more emotional. The cause will be more psychological. And that's the reason we put it as sorosephritic. You will not have any tumor in Ignatia. Fine? Because of this tumor, they are not throwing conversion. EEG, MRI, 10 times, 12 times, 15 times, all normal. I am also giving you a clue. Take, it, take this clue with a pinch of salt. When you have all reports normal, and Ignis, I mean a patient is suffering, you can think of Ignatia. I am telling you, take this symptom with a pinch of salt. Use your common sense also. Okay? When all the reports are normal, fine? But still the patient is suffering. Okay? And you know, it is more psychological. You know from the case taking, it is more uh, functional. Okay? Then you can think of Ignatia. Okay? So, going ahead, the last, uh, uh, you know, component will be modalities. I am talking to you about the general modalities. You have plenty. Grief, chagrin, worry, fright, shock, losing a near and dear person, odor, touch, coffee, tobacco, yawning. See, to the reaction of touch, tobacco, coffee and all, Ignatia can also have hysterical reactions. What is that hysterical reaction? A reaction which is not expected. Like for example, you know, a smell you might see them fainting. This is an exaggerated reaction. This is what you have in Ignatia. Because of those sensitive nerves. Exaggerated reactions. Okay? Uh, yeah, your friend was talking of stooping. Headache, aggravation, stooping. What comes at the same hour and day? Convergence. Convergence. Good. Better. The better by change of position, lying on affected part, when alone. When do they feel better when they are alone? What is it that they don't like in Ignatia? They don't like consolation. They don't like consolation. Consolation aggravation. I forgot to mention a very important thing. Must be I would have told you under mind. Sign. Please, please think of Ignatia. 
when you see a person they are narrating what is this can somebody add something to this involuntary saying okay yeah i'll, I'll come to it uh, i'll come to it when involuntary saying and uh, your friend she is talking of a symptom that i narrated in a case when did i take saying in that lady she would weep continuously and at the end of weeping she would say so what was the rubric we took saying at the end of weeping and what was the remedy that we got there only remedy is ignition and what was our pathology dub dub very good and what, did scan show any growth endometrial thickening growth nothing you are getting my point so this is ignition is more at the level of mind fine and what had happened she had blamed herself for some incident anger on himself was the rubric we took and ignisha did the magic fine profuse bleeding with no pathology that was a case i narrated in my first class beautiful case fine because she was bleeding almost for 3 months went to different gynecologists took uh, hormonal pills but it did not stop she was fed up she left and ultimately she landed up with homeopathy with beautiful results okay so <clears throat> these are the aggravation and ameliorating factors of ignition okay any quick questions anything you like to ask hope ignition is clear sorosephilitic hysterical contradictory remedy and of course last three hours you know we have spoken ignisia under different headings hmm okay so one question you can expect for your third year exams if you are lucky they can ask you mentors of ignisia for five marks they can ask you contradictory symptoms of ignisia for five marks or if you are lucky drug picture of ignisia for 10 marks okay let's stop yes, sir, so thank you stop. Huh? so i'm not very sure uh, i have taken this from fortex i'll uh, let me refer okay i didn't expect this question but anyway no issues uh, near a bomb stove they better but your friend wants to know what is it that they better near the bomb stove let me check is it headache or is it anything specific that you have in ignisia you remind me in the next class i'll do my homework and i'll get back to you okay anything else Chala, thank you, man. We'll close. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, attendance here, don't worry.